This article from Engadget, Tesla's autopilot could soon detect traffic lights. A video shows a Tesla stopping autonomously at a red light. It looks like Tesla's autopilot, this is articles from Engadget, if you haven't noticed, it's right up here. It looks like Tesla's autopilot feature will soon be able to recognize traffic lights. A video shared on Twitter shows a Tesla cruising through several green lights and slowing to a stop when it detects a red light. There is some speculation that Tesla will include the feature in its next autopilot update. Is this it? Yes, it is. Oh, I don't have audio enabled. Damn it. I mean, I guess we don't really need audio. We just need to see it stop at a red light, right? But why is it so 55 seconds long? Can we fast forward here? Okay. So green light. I, I want to see that there's no driver though. Can I, can you show me that like no one is controlling? Well, I guess somebody's sitting there. It's just going to do it by itself. Obviously they're not going to be um, irresponsible and not have somebody there just in case. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, yes, obviously it's going to stop at the red light. Like that's what we're talking about. So uh, cool. Uh <laughs> That was very anticlimactic. Um, the article says it's going to stop at, you know, detect traffic lights. So what what, what else am I going to expect during this video? Yeah, of course, it's going to stop at the light. Like, that's what it's there for. Tesla's autopilot can already <laughs> recognize other cars on the road. And last fall, an update allowed it to stop or to spot traffic cones. If you use Navigate on autopilot, your EV will also plan lane will also plan lane changes to avoid those cones. Of course, it's probably best not to put your full faith in features like these. Yes, which is very true. Again, they're putting this stuff in there, but this doesn't mean that you can go like lay in the back seat and take a nap. Somebody needs to be at the seat. Um, users in groups like Consumer Reports have raised a few flat, a few red flags, and the National Transportation Safety Board went as far as to blame autopilot's design as a contributing factor in at least one fatal Tesla crash. Still, Tesla is pushing to have fully self-driving cars on the road soon. Elon Musk previously said they'd be ready in 2019, and that over a million robo over a million robo taxis would arrive in 2020. It's fair to say that most bets are off for 2020, but updates like the ability to stop for red lights will get us one step closer to fully autonomous vehicles. What I like about this, though, is it's it's great to see the technology get this far, where cars are pretty much driving themselves. I just wonder how they're gonna. I don't know how well they're gonna drive in cities like Chicago. I, I asked this question actually to my news team before, but I, I'm still hesitant on how it's going to work because especially in the city of Chicago where we get a lot of snow and like slush or ice on the road, I don't, I don't know. And like, especially when they, when it snows here and then they lay salt down and then that salt gets on the cars. And I don't know if you, if you guys know, if you live in a city that has snow and then they salt, that salt gets everywhere on the car. Like it makes your car dirty, like super dirty. And I can just imagine it like fucking with the sensors on an autopilot car. But I don't know, maybe they figure that out. Maybe if a sensor isn't detected, they're like, go clean my shit first because I'm not driving it autonomously until you clean me, until you clean the sensors off is my guess.